The thing that stands out to me about the Children's Museum of Indianapolis is actually not the size. Now, they do boast this all over the internet that this is the largest and one of the coolest children's museums in the entire world. At, I think it's 400, almost 483,000 square feet. It's huge. It's ginormous. But the thing that stands out for me is the feeling I still have about it. My friend invited us so that we could go see the Minecraft exhibit, but I was not prepared for the things I saw at this museum. We tell our kids a lot. We don't sugarcoat anything, but sharing the history in an immersive way was entirely different. Learning about Ruby Bridges while sitting in little school desks, sitting in a closed room while passages from Anne Frank's diary were being read to you, it hits different. Now with all the heaviness that the museum offers, there's this really beautiful juxtaposition of joy and happiness that we got to experience right after. My favorite part about this museum is how welcoming it is for bigger kids. This guy was about a few months shy of 12 years old, which meant that he's already bordering getting out of the immersive experiences of museums. But this museum had his attention and he explored every aspect of it and he played with things and he could just be a kid. I think that's definitely something that is overlooked for most children's museums. They cater to the younger crowd. And this one had something for everyone. We looked at pieces of culture from our past. We looked at art from our present. And we explored all that we could. And still ended up not even seeing most of it. And were incredibly beat by the end of it. Now, that didn't stop us from exploring a little bit more on our way out, and it didn't stop us from playing a little bit of miniature golf. If I had it to do over again, I would stay in town and get one of those multi-day passes and take my time, because even after a year, I'm still incredibly moved by this experience, and I can't wait to go back.